This time on Bulletproof Tactical, we're gonna go ahead and review the Star Model F. This is a 22 long rifle pistol. Uh, this was inherited from my grandpa to myself. So I wanna go ahead and review this firearm with you guys. Continue watching. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with today's review. So what makes this firearm so special and why am I even reviewing it? Uh, I'm actually in Mexico again. Uh, I did another video and uh, you guys can go check that out. Some homemade firearms I made back when I was 15. And this is my grandpa's firearm. Uh, he passed away three years ago and he actually inherited this firearm to me. I was the only one that liked firearms in the whole family. So I actually feel privileged to own this firearm. And... Uh, this is a Star Model F. This is a 22 long rifle pistol, but you guys can see the construction. We're going to do a safety check before we start. You guys can see nothing there. And uh, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, firearm is clear. And uh, you guys can see the construction is really similar to a 1911. Really gives me that 1911 look. The weight to it, it's nothing but metal. It's actually uh, 25 ounces, so it's on the heavy side. Uh, total of 11 round mag capacity. Once again, these are 22, 40 grains. So not much kick, obviously no recoil at all, given the weight of the firearm. You're not gonna feel any recoil. And uh, you guys can see it's seen better days. My grandpa owned it for 30 years before passing away, actually 32 years, and now I am the owner. So some of you guys might know here in Mexico, you cannot legally own firearms. You can't walk into a gun shop and buy one. So there's a lot of old firearms laying around. Most of them are gonna look like they're in this condition, really old firearms that people had uh, pretty much hidden. You can now legally register it, but you can only have it in your house. Uh, and pretty much it's uh, home defense only. You can't conceal carry firearms here in Mexico. Um, I know a lot of people think like drug lords and everyone has access to firearms and you're going to get killed as soon as you walk into Mexico. But reality is we don't have a chance because we can't even carry a firearm. So that's, uh, you know, it's, it's good to have a firearm here. Uh, my plans with this firearm are obviously going to clean it up. Uh, I do plan on nickel plating the whole thing, maybe gold plating the, the grips, you know. Uh, obviously run down uh, the whole mechanism, make sure it's functional. Uh, I've shot it and it does function, but you know, it's obviously seen better days, lube it up and maybe uh, make a nice holster for it. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, overall um, length of the firearm is 7.25 uh, inches. Uh, barrel length is a 4.25 inches. So a uh, pretty decent size barrel. You get pretty much a decent uh, velocity out of it. The sights you guys can see uh, look to be adjustable. And uh, you do have a hammer, which is you know similar to the 1911. You do get a manual safety right here. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much from what I can tell. I don't know what year this is. These were manufactured from 1932 to 1970 so pretty old firearms you're probably going to only see them at gun shows maybe auctions but they're not going to be too common and uh, i don't know let me know guys what do you guys think about this firearm uh, leave me a comment i would like to read your guys's comments and uh, what would you do if your grandpa had heard you a firearm what would you do with it and uh, thank you very much for watching bulletproof tactical don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one